In this video, we'll be taking a look at three MLB games happening on June 25th, 2024, and providing you with free team picks and total picks for each one of those games. So six picks in total. Welcome back to Cash Out Sports. Let's dive right into it. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe and to click the bell icon to get notified as soon as these videos get released so that you have more time to plan out your bets as we provide these videos on a daily basis. I can guarantee that you'll have all the important information that you'll need on these three MLB games. After fully watching this video. One more thing before we start, if you would like to gain access to our best exclusive sports picks to take your journey to the next level, then check out our Patreon in the link down below where we offer our best single picks, parlay picks, and much more. Now let's get started. New York Yankees vs. New York Mets The New York Yankees are set to hit the road for a matchup against the New York Mets at Seedy Field. Jared Cole is unlikely to pitch deep into the game during his second appearance since returning from an elbow injury. In contrast, David Peterson has thrown 22.2 innings over four starts. This pitching disparity could be problematic for the Yankees, particularly if they fall behind early. While the Yankees have a strong track record against right-handed pitchers, their performance against lefties has been less impressive, evidenced by a .235 batting average, .323 on-base percentage, .376 slugging percentage, and a .699 OPS in 2024. Their offense has been limited, managing just one run in two of their last three games. On the flip side, the Mets have been on fire, with a June slash line of .283, .351, .491, and .842 and averaging six runs per game. Although Cole is the ace of the Yankees' rotation, he isn't yet in peak form. The Mets have been competitive in the Subway Series, splitting the last ten games overall and winning two of the most recent three matchups. Despite the Yankees' superior overall record, they have encountered some difficulties lately. Their pitching staff has shown vulnerability over the past two weeks. Jarrett Cole, who had a solid outing against Baltimore in his first game back, will take the mound for the Yankees. Meanwhile, the Mets, one of the hottest teams in MLB currently, have a home record of just 18-23. David Peterson, who will start for the Mets, has performed decently in limited appearances, though his WHIP remains high. Although Cole is the better pitcher overall, the Mets' current offensive form suggests they might chase him from the game early. Heading into the Subway Series, the Mets carry the momentum and are likely to edge out the Yankees in the first game. Therefore, the New York Mets' money line is our full game side pick. The Yankees have been averaging 5.4 runs per game in June, a notable feat given that they have lost five of their last seven games and scored just one run in two of their previous three games. Peterson has managed to hold three of his four opponents to two runs but lacks the ability to generate many swings and misses, which could be a disadvantage against the Yankees' powerful lineup. Additionally, Peterson has walked seven batters in his three June starts. The Mets' bullpen is reliable but will miss closer Edwin Diaz, who was ejected from Sunday's game and suspended for 10 more games due to a foreign substance found on his hand. With Cole still regaining his form, he is likely to be on a limited pitch count. The Yankees' pitching, which was stellar in April and May, has struggled in June, posting a 4.56 earned run average with opponents slashing .250, .331, .424, and .755 against them. Although the Mets have not traditionally hit well against Cole, their current hot streak combined with Cole's limited 2024 experience should lead to more competitive at-bats. The Yankees' offense has been strong this season, ranking in the top 10 in various categories such as runs, hits, home runs, RBIs, walks, batting average, OBP, SLG, and OPS they are expected to hit David Peterson effectively. With Jared Cole not likely to pitch beyond five innings in his second start of the season, the Yankees' bullpen, which has struggled recently, will be tested against a robust Mets lineup. The Mets are also ranked near the top 10 in the league in key offensive metrics. This matchup is projected to be a high-scoring affair, making over the projected total our full-game total pick. Atlanta Braves vs. St. Louis Cardinals On Tuesday, June 25th, the St. Louis Cardinals, with a season record of 40-37, will be competing against the Atlanta Braves, who currently stand at 43-33 at Busch Stadium. This game marks the second contest in their three-game series. The Cardinals emerged victorious in the first game, narrowly defeating the Braves with a final score of 4-3. Although the St. Louis Cardinals' offense has shown impressive performance at the plate, they will face a formidable challenge against Atlanta's pitching staff, which has been exceptional lately. Over their last eight 
games, the Braves have conceded more than three runs only twice. Reynaldo Lopez, in particular, has been phenomenal in June, boasting an impressive 1.06 earned run average. The Braves' bullpen also ranks within the top 10 in both earned run average and FIP. Conversely, the Cardinals have concerns regarding Kyle Gibson, who has struggled in home games since the beginning of May, allowing at least three runs in each start at Busch Stadium. Gibson's home earned run average stands at 4.27 this season. Despite this, Atlanta's offense remains potent, particularly with their home run capabilities, making them a threat to St. Louis. The Braves, seeking to bounce back offensively, hold the pitching advantage in the second game of the series, making them the favored pick. Reynaldo Lopez has been outstanding this season, particularly this month, allowing only two runs over his last 17 innings. While Kyle Gibson has had a respectable overall performance, his struggles at Busch Stadium, with an earned run average over four, make the Braves an attractive option. Given these factors, the Atlanta Braves money line is our full game side pick. This season, the Atlanta Braves have experienced a varied record concerning the total number of points scored in their games. Out of their 76 games, 44 have resulted in fewer points than the posted total. When playing on the road, the Braves have seen 22 out of 39 games go under the posted total. Recently, the Braves have exhibited a pattern of low-scoring games, with their last two games and five out of their last seven finishing under the posted total. Conversely, the St. Louis Cardinals have had a higher frequency of games ending below the posted total with 41 out of their 77 games this season following this trend. At home, the Cardinals have seen 19 out of 35 games go under the posted total. Their most recent game was also low scoring, but four of their last six games have exceeded the posted total. Reynaldo Lopez has been stellar this season, but he has begun to allow more hits in recent outings. Meanwhile, the Cardinals are currently excelling against right-handed pitching. On the other side, Kyle Gibson is performing above expectations, as his typical end-of-season earned run average hovers in the high fours to low fives range, making his current 3.44 earned run average appear unsustainable. Considering the Cardinals' recent scoring trends and the current pitching matchup, a high-scoring game seems likely. Therefore, over the projected total is our full game total pick. Colorado Rockies vs. Houston Astros. It's the middle game of an interleague series on the diamond down in the Lone Star State. The Colorado Rockies are on the road as they continue their series against the Houston Astros on Tuesday night. In all aspects of the game, the Houston Astros are a superior team compared to the Colorado Rockies, and this matchup should highlight that difference. Examining the performances of these starting pitchers throughout June reveals a stark contrast. Austin Gomer is currently 0-2 with a 9.68 earned run average and a .355 batting average against in 17.2 innings. In contrast, Hunter Brown is 3-0 with an impressive 1.44 earned run average and a .209 opposing batting average over 25. 5.0 innings. The ability to hit effectively is crucial, and the Rockies lag significantly behind in this area. They rank 26th in the league with a .652 road OPS across 38 away games, while the Astros lead with a .805 home OPS in 41 home games this season. The Rockies have been struggling recently, losing a game in the ninth inning against the Nationals at home on Sunday. They managed to score just one run, even at Coors Field, and now face the challenge of playing a surging Houston team on the road. The Astros entered Monday riding a five-game winning streak, narrowing the gap in the American League West race. Hunter Brown has won his last three starts and has turned his season around after a slow beginning. Given the Rockies' offensive struggles on the road and the Astros' recent offensive explosion, scoring 27 runs in their sweep of the Orioles, Houston looks formidable. Despite being two games under .500, the Astros are playing some of their best baseball of the season and are seeking their sixth consecutive win. They have climbed to second place in the American League League West standings and have Hunter Brown, who has been exceptional recently, starting this game. Colorado, on the other hand, is just 11-27 on the road this season, and Gomer has struggled significantly in his last three outings. Therefore, the Houston Astros to win and cover the spread as favorites is our full game side pick. Both pitching staffs are expected to allow runs frequently in this matchup. Evaluating team pitching throughout June, Houston ranks 9th in Major League Baseball with a 3.6 team earned run average over 20 games, while Colorado sits last with a dismal 6.75 team earned run average across 22 games. Both teams have shown capability in delivering productive and timely hits with runners in scoring position. The Rockies are tied with the Detroit Tigers for 10th place with a team .773 OPS in such situations, while the Astros are close behind in 13th with a .750 
55 team OPS anticipate the Houston Astros to dominate against Austin Gomer and for the Rockies to contribute some runs as well. Thus, over the projected total is our full game total pick. That's all for now, so if you have any other games you would like reviewed, then leave a comment down below with the game you would like analyzed, subscribe to our channel, leave a like on this video, and we'll get to it as soon as we possibly can. We would also love to hear your opinion on the picks presented to you in this video, whether you agree or disagree with them, so leave a comment down below and do let us know.